Archery played a big role in Dimitro's recovery. He received a shot to the stomach in 2014 while defending the Mariupol police station for militants in an attempted takeover. I enjoy shooting, as well as the fact that there is an opportunity to be on the team and take part in this project. These are the bonuses that I enjoy. Victory over self. This is Valeri's main mantra. In order to achieve the highest results possible, he trains every day. He says that life makes you move forward, even after he was seriously injured in the Donetsk region. Once you've gotten onto the team, you have to train and compete. This is just one way to move forward. Participants of the Invictus Games will be competing in six different disciplines. The disciplines include track and field, powerlifting, archery, cycling and swimming. The competition will be held for the third time. The first time was spent in London, the second time in Orlando in the United States and for the third time in Toronto, Canada. We will represent Ukraine for the first time in this competition. The president of Ukraine came to support the athletes at the Spartak Stadium in Kiev before their trip to Toronto. This is the elite of Ukraine. These are the best guardians of Ukraine who will be sent this week to participate in Toronto for the Invictus Games. These guys who stopped Russian aggression and who have defied military injuries in order to take part in the Invictus Games will show Ukraine to the whole world. Petro Poroshenko recalled that thousands of Ukrainian servicemen were injured while protecting Ukraine from Russian aggression. Therefore, it is very important that the courage of these heroes is seen by the whole world.